Can a defendant avoid criminal liability for defrauding a victim by claiming he never thought the victim would believe his lies? The District of Columbia Circuit considered this creative defense in Nelson v. United States. Over several months, Charles Nelson purchased various pieces of merchandise for resale from Potomac Distributors, a wholesaler. However, when Nelson sought to purchase a washing machine and two televisions on credit, Potomac refused because Nelson had an $1,800 balance that was 30 days overdue. Nelson had already sold the televisions and washing machine, so he offered Potomac a Packard car as security for the merchandise and his outstanding balance. He told Potomac he'd purchased the Packard for over $4,000. However, Nelson neglected to disclose that Citibank already had a lien on the vehicle for over $3,000 and instead told Potomac he only owed one $55 payment on the Packard. In reliance on Nelson's statements, Potomac delivered the televisions, each worth $136, in exchange for a demand note for Nelson's entire debt secured by a chattel mortgage on the televisions and Nelson's Packard. Nelson failed to make his initial payment as agreed and left town. Around the same time, the Packard was in a collision, sustaining $1,000 in damages, and Citibank repossessed the vehicle. At trial, the district court found Nelson guilty of obtaining goods under false pretenses under District of Columbia law, but he was acquitted on a second charge of grand larceny. Nelson appealed his conviction to the District of Columbia Circuit.